The second attempt at a snack break. Nice and hazy and pretty beautiful. We still got our nice sunrise. Look at that sky. What do they say? Red sky in the morning, sailors have warning. Well, good thing we're not sailors. <laughs> <laughs> we're just mere and hikers. These are our beautiful homes. On the cliff. Storm last night didn't last too long, thankfully. It's yeah. not raining yet today, so. It was hardly a storm. Hardly a storm. Like Look at this beautiful. freaky looking guy. A beautiful traveling leaf. He's like a big cicada looking thing. <laughs> Some type of grasshopper slash cicada corn eater. Look at this guy. Corn eater. I don't know, he eats corn. He's not from Iowa. <laughs> Ooh, get off our tent. Ooh, get off our tent. Ooh, get off our tent. Ooh. Whoa. Oh my god, look at the sun. Oh wow. Look at the sun. Look at Whoa. that big red orb. I gotta get a better view of this. Man, this thing doesn't do it justice. The sun is just this red orb. Coming from the from the horizon. Such a beautiful sunrise. Good morning. It's day 109. Hello. We had a amazing thunderstorm last night. It wasn't as bad as any of the ones in Virginia, but yeah, it was pretty short-lived, and um, it was supposed to. It, they were calling for rain this morning, but no rain. Just bunch of fog and possibly rain in a couple hours but it only goes to like a 56 percent chance so it m might not even happen i think we'll be okay so but uh yeah we've got a pretty good day probably gonna do about 20 miles today and uh gotta keep that momentum up y'all yep it's gonna make you proud yep hopefully we're hoping the rocks will dwindle away today as well they're supposed to in like five miles so yeah at least i think we'll be okay from what we've heard even yesterday was way better than anything we saw in pa and better and, and mentally not better great. too um yeah not perfect but nothing compared to what we saw yeah so only positivity today, guys. Mm -hmm. We are loving New Jersey. Just an awesome sunrise yeah. we got. Except I got stung by bees yesterday while trying to hang the bear bag. Yeah. I stepped on a ground bee nest and I got stung twice. So yeah. first New Jersey. His first sting, which is my, pretty good. My first sting on trail. I've already had three. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's a pretty good track record <laughs> so far. But uh yeah. So we're gonna just mosey on and tr hopefully the rain won't come. See you on so. the trail. Yep. Yeah, this is definitely one of the better kept fire towers we've seen. No view from the top, it's pretty cloudy. But yeah, compared to the ones we saw in Georgia, this thing's in mint condition, freshly painted. Look at that, no greasy black stains near the near the the pilings, and they got keeping it grounded too with that wire. I guess that's what that's for. Catfish uh, fire tower. We found a random peach tree here with actual peaches on it. It, I think they're good to eat. Well, no, that's kind of still kind of hard. Yeah, they are. They look pretty good. What about that one up there, you see? Oh, that one? I don't know if I can get to that one. Wow, this is amazing. A peach tree in New Jersey? I've never heard the likes of it. Let's see if we can't find a good juicy one. Yeah, I know, right? We're not in Georgia. Georgia is the peach state. Isn't it? Or is that Florida? No, Georgia. 
Georgia. Oh, that's Georgia, yeah. See, this this looks ready to go, but it's like, it it's hard. Yeah. Maybe, and what you're wow. supposed to do is put them in a brown paper bag. Can you just ripen them? Can you pick them on yeah. ripe and then just ripen them? Uh, I don't know how peaches work. I don't know the extent of it, but you can mm. ripen it in a bag. That's amazing. All right, we found a good one. I think it's a good one. Ooh. It's a big one. Beautiful. It's not quite ripe yet, but We're gonna try it will to be. It's got some spots here, but I think it's fine. Let it sit for a day. Yeah, this yeah. is an amazing find. Cool, Thanks to Close Call with their abundant peach trees in Arizona. <laughs> 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 Looks like somebody maintenanced it. First of many beaver ponds today. There's a big old dam in the middle of it. Let's see if we can see it. Oh, there it is. Right over there. Big old beaver dam. In the middle of this pond. And this is all dammed up too. By them beavers. Now look at all this. Wow. They really know how to keep the water in one place, that's for sure. That is gross. It said water source here, but this is definitely something you do not want to take water from. Big old stagnant pond. Yuck. More beaver activity. Look at that thing. Wow. <laughs> it chewed right through that thing. That big old log. Amazing. Imagine having teeth that strong. It's like sharpening a pencil. I know. This tree didn't get too far, unfortunately. All that work for nothing. He just created a widow maker. And look at this one, you guys. This guy got gnawed all the way around almost. And he's still standing. And check it out. He's still green. <laughs> Not for long. I cannot imagine this thing will be standing for too much longer. Look at this chunk taken out of that thing. I can't believe this is still standing. Just can't believe it. I can't believe and it. still living too. Wow. Nature's crazy, huh? Got the back half of a copperhead right here. Do you guys see that? He's somewhere in these leaves so i'm not gonna get super close but would you look at that we're seeing more snakes and bears in this okay now we're going to the jungle oh my god this is the worst <laughs> the wor holy crap oh my god yeah watch your foot watch your feet jeez Someone needs to take a weed whacker to this bit. Yeah. So much for avoiding ticks. And I was so hungry. Okay, I don't want to jump the gun here, but the rocks disappeared. We, it's been pretty flat for like a mile or two. So we're hoping that was the last of them. Oh, right as it starts raining. Wow, we. I really hope that was the last of them. Cause uh, I just looked on the map and it is just looks like we're on like the highway. That's how flat it is. Finally out of the rocks. After like two weeks. Two weeks of rocks? Yeah. At least. Felt like an eternity. Oh man, we, we are so happy. We have paid our rock dues and we're about to pay our boardwalk dues. Gonna get a bunch of that here in Jersey. And then we're gonna play, be paying our deli dues up in New York. Now those are ones you wanna pay. Oh, all right, yeah, it's sprinkling. He's really getting after that one. Careful, buddy, it's raining. 
Oh yeah, you, look at that, look at that proboscis, proboscis, whatever you call it. Look at that tongue. Oh yeah, get in there. His tongue's like eight feet long. Woo! Okay, oh, there he goes. <laughs> yeah, I guess he heard me. So one thing I've noticed with blazes is the older they are, then the m more wide and spread apart they look. So for example, this guy, and that's the newer blaze up there. And obviously you can tell, cause it's a pretty new looking blaze. But this one, it's just really interesting cause you can see how the tree actually grows because this, all this bark was pushed together and as it grew, the bark spread apart and therefore spread apart the blaze. I just think, I just thought that was a pretty cool little, little insight. Well, I guess I'm going to have to eat my words yet again, because just like that, rocks came back. We got to stop thinking like wishfully over here, because every time we think the rocks are done, we either get pranked or we just get fooled into thinking that they're done done. But they're not. They're very much alive and well. <sighs> We're just doing the best we can out here. Rain seems to have held off a little bit. So, well, there's that. At least it's nice and cool out. You know what? It, I, I'm just, I'm happy it's not like we're we're not in like the middle well we're still kind of in a heat wave but it's nice and cool today it seems it's supposed to be like 94 degrees today at least at like sea level but oh well i guess i'm not gonna i'm not gonna think to myself hey the rocks are done cuz Inevitably, they come back. Well, I guess this is another beaver bog. However, it is pretty dry, extremely dry. Like all this was clearly covered in water and muck and it smells like it too, but it is just dried right up. Just shows how bad of a drought we're in. This is a lovely thing the trail is making us do right now. Love this. Well, at least we need the rain. So this is a good thing. Doesn't mean I love the rain. At this moment in time. Damn, you guys are getting soaked. Second attempt at a snack break didn't go as planned. No. Oh my god, this is a terrible place to be in the rain. There's all this slippery rock around us. I do not know the reason why these beech trees are dropping their leaves so early. I mean, they look fine, but they're just... They're just dropping their leaves and just growing back new ones. That is early. Usually they hold on to their leaves, I think. This terrain is very bad for wet rock. Oh, man. New Jersey is officially East Rock Sylvania. Ah! Ah! East Roxylvania is struck. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is horrid. And it has killer mosquitoes. And killer mosquitoes. Oh, here's the view from the top of Rattlesnake Mountain. Our first mountain in East Roxylvania. And Fern is getting absolutely torn, torn to pieces right now. I can't even stand still for a second. They're just eating me up. 
Yeah, she is not pleased. They're really bad. At least it's kind of windy up here, so. But, oh. Well, this is the first of a couple uh, little mountains we'll be climbing today. Uh, it's a little nicer up here. All right, guys, we're at the top of Blue Mountain and got a pretty decent view. You know, almost panoramic. And we just ran into our friends, uh, Sky King and Golden Goddess from the YouTube channel, Scritches Gone Wild. Man, we haven't seen, last time we saw them was it, uh, right outside Damascus and that, that feels like two lifetimes ago. So it was nice to uh, briefly catch up with them. Uh, they were out here with a friend uh, who was hiking with them for a week. I guess they know Close Call because he was saying he saw them earlier today. A pretty nice little view as we walk along here. And it kind of just keeps on going, which is really pretty. In a way, it reminds me of the Blue Hills, when we hiked the Blue Hills um, in Mass. Does this remind you of them? Yeah, I was literally about to say that to you. Yeah. It does, just like, it kind of keeps going and then got these little rock and shrubs and what a nice little view to walk on. And we got about, uh, I just checked the map, four and a half miles until we get to the road, uh, the road crossing and there will be, there's like a tavern, it's called Mountain House Tavern and Grill, something like that, and uh, I think we're going to be stopping there, not for food, because we're going to eat the food we have on our backs, just the drinks. So that'll give us probably about 18 miles miles or so today, which isn't a half bad day considering uh, all the rain and the dreadful weather. But it seems to have cleared up real nice. So fingers crossed it stays this way. So I just checked the weather and I guess it's done raining. So that uh, blew over really nicely. It was supposed to rain until like seven or eight, but yeah, we just stopped for a brief little snacky. And cause this is the first time we've been able to actually stop without it pouring on us. Yeah. And um, yeah, we got like three and a half miles to go to get to the tavern and probably gonna hang out there for a little bit and then camp very shortly afterwards. If we don't see you till then, we'll see you at the tavern but you'll probably see us before then. Newt? Whoa, what's that? What do you got? Fresh corn. Yeah, what kind? Oh my gosh, the kind on the cob. The Mexican street Mexican kind? Mexican street plant corn. Wow, we... It's spectacular. We got some good, good corn. And a couple drinks, and we're hanging out by Lake Kittatinny. Kittatinny. K Lake K Kittatinny. Yeah, just the pick me up that I needed today. Yeah, this is just what we needed. Today's been a roller coaster day. Yeah. We're planning <laughs> on being here for a while longer, and then we're just gonna camp wherever we drop, I guess. But we're gonna enjoy this amazing view for as long as we can because today has been uh started out kind of rainy and wet but now it's now it's really nice so we're gonna take that in take that in and enjoy it perfect ending to the day yeah exactly yeah bye bye good food and drinks
So this is the fire tower that apparently had all the bear activity. <laughs> and uh, we didn't mean to hike this far, but it kind of happened because there's not really much for spots. I think Close Call kept going on. He was here debating on if he wanted to camp or not, but there's a big sign. Well, there's a sign on the telephone pole that says no camping. Yeah, I guess we'll be moving on then. Shelter's in just over a mile, so probably end up setting it, putting down there. Hello, close dear friends of ours. Hello, we, we left the tavern. By Gyps, the, Gyps Tavern. By the beautiful lake. It was very hard to leave. I it took was a an amazing place. nap. I lay down for a while and had much soda and a lot of soda, water. A lot a of lot, beer. Mostly soda. I had some beers. <laughs> and we had the street corn. A lot of Mexican street corn. And I got some chicken jerked, jerk, jerk chicken tacos. He got tacos, but I have to cook because I'm just carrying so much food out here. So the corn was my little treat. And yeah. now I'm going to have some dinner and. Whew. Yeah, it was a big day, um, kind of a tough day for me. I mean, it rained and then I've just been having like a little bit of pain in my heel after PA. So trying to work Thanks, through PA. that. Yeah, I felt so good going into PA, like for the first time in a, in a while. Mm -hmm. And so a little bummed out about that, but we're doing our best out here. And it was a wonderful ending to the day. Yeah. It turned around, so. It really did. And we got a pretty decent stealth spot. It was right after that fire tower that we passed. Culver's fire tower, I think. The one with the, all the bear activity. But uh, yeah, it's right after that. So hopefully we don't see any bears. Right now we got the, the bungalow going. Yes. So we got our fly pulled back. To let some nice, good, fresh, clean air in. And, uh, yeah, close calls over there. We are stealthing it. Woo. Being all stealthy with it. Yeah, we are. Alright. Gonna blow up this air pad and lie down. Yeah. So, we will catch <laughs> you guys first thing in the morning. Thanks for watching, friends. Nice night. Good night.